Hello and welcome to this simple tutorial that's going to show you how to create a web API in .NET Core 2.0. We're going to go and um, select new to select our new and create a new project here and we're going to select ASP.NET Core Web Application. We're going to call this simple web API. I'm going to select the empty template here and um, while we've got different options here and you can explore them in another, um, in another at another time I like empty so that I know what I'm adding to my uh, application whereas when you see some of the other templates they give you a lot of stuff straight out of the box that you're not sure of and you probably you might not use you need to make sure that you've got .NET Core and ASP.NET Core 2.0 selected in the drop down menus above and we're going to select OK to start creating our simple project. Here we are presented with our simple um, project template. First thing we're going to do is create a controllers folder. So we're going to right click and select add and select new folders and we're going to call that controllers. This is the folder that's going to house all of our We're going to select right click and select again add. Now, when the first time when we um, try to create a controller, we uh, we uh, need to set up the dependencies. So here we're going to um, select minimal dependencies and allow them those dependencies to be set up the first time. You only need to do this one, uh, this step, uh, for the first time uh, when you're creating the first controller. So you're presented with a scaffolding readme text file. These are some of the different options um, that suggest that you can use, um, put into your startup file. And we'll get into what we need to do. So we're going to right click on the controllers folder again, and we're going to select add controllers. And this time we're presented with the different scaffolding uh, templates we can use. I'm going to select API controller empty, and we're going to call that a pink. So when that finishes, we're going to be presented with a, a, a an empty kind of controller template. I'm just going to delete the two different decorators that it's given us straight out of the box and we'll add one at a time in our ping controller. So now we're going to start creating our ping method, which we're going to use as our endpoint. So we're going to use a, we're going to have a return type of i action result. And in here, we're going to simply just return OK um, with a response value of POM. So when we hit ping, we should get back a POM. Now we need to decorate this method. This is going to allow us to actually hit the endpoint. So we're going to say HTTP GET, because it's the GET method. And we're going to give it the route uh, ping, which is the route is what we can use to actually hit this endpoint. So now we've created our simple controller. The next thing that we need to do is actually add a couple of things to our startup file. The startup file is the entry point for our application. If we were to run this at the moment, we would um, just get back a hello world. As you can see, app.run there, the return um, hello world. So we're going to delete that, and we're going to add um, the MVC um, method to our application. So under configure services, we're going to um, use the, uh, we're going to add MVC, services.addMVC, and then to be able to use that under the configure, we're going to say uh, app dot use MVC. Now this is the simple web API, and this will get us up and running um, it, it, and allow us to hit that ping endpoint. So really simple. So if we run this, we're going to set the IS uh, run. Now it loads up Chrome and it's going to give us a local host here um, allow, and the port allowing us to hit our endpoint. Excellent, so we've got the port, I'm going to use Postman because I love Postman, and we're going to um, just put that port and um, the URL in there with ping in there, and as you can see, we've, we've got a response of Pong and a response code of 200. 
and that's simply how to, how to create a simple web API in 2.0.